Hello everyone, I'm Peter Hoffman. I began art in college. I was a minor in art and uh, majored in biology. And so I'm somewhat of a perfectionist, being that I enjoy detail. In college, I had all my paintings stolen in my senior art show. I had six paintings stolen, so I quit art for, for five years. When I graduated from dental school, I decided to do this painting. This is an acrylic painting of the Dallas Cowboys, the Super Bowl of 1981, with Craig Morton being stopped by Two Tall Jones. Then I quit art again, and I've gotten back now into oils, thanks to Artorama. One thing I did was a stained glass window out of junk glass, and what I did was I just started making objects, like a bird, the clouds, the butterfly, and then I realized, you know what, I can make a full window with this thing. So I started using this, these pieces of junk glass, and as you can see, it turned out to be a creative experience because I used some pieces for the sun, and then I ran out of that yellow, and I had to use some other yellow, and I ended up using a whole tin of junk glass and came up with this uh, rendition of the Sea of Galilee. Now I used the same basic concept in doing my oil painting. What I did was, as you can see here, I started off with different images to portray uh, a theme. And the name and the theme of this whole painting is God's promise or the signs of his coming and his revelation. We have the three celestial symbols here in God's glory and his promise to us. Now what I want to demonstrate to everybody is how I developed these different scenes and how I was able to add scenes later on as I continued the painting of the Garden of Eden. And so down here I painted in and drew in trees and a little uh, tree of life and all that. So I added that on there. And the shadowing. Initially I didn't have very good shadowing around the star, around the Abrahamic covenant. So I increased the shadowing and you can see it here. It creates a little bit more depth and improves on the image. And in each of these steps I was changing it just a little bit. Here you can see that it looks kind of flat God's time uh, in three dimensions. So I added some shadowing. Now I'm not finished with the shadowing. You can see the shadowing here looks a lot better than the shadowing I have here. I'm going to improve on that and, uh, and create more depth by using liquid and adding another layer of color. I have liquid here. You can see the liquid creating kind of a glisten sun shadow. And um, I want to use that same kind of liquid effect coming from the Bethlehem star through the covenant into the burning bush and down towards this angel here. I'm going to add liquid to do that too. I have kind of simulated that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit of shadowing here. I've simulated that kind of a movement, and it comes across right here. It's very subtle, so you can hardly see that. But I've also increased the color on this star, and to create some depth, I put some shadowing in there. Threw in a mountain, and I'm thinking that a third mountain is going to improve the painting. Put some good shadowing in there, and I'm going to add this next, along with some depth of field here. The, the, the colors on the, on the cross and a few other subtle things that I have added as I'm working with pastel and with watercolor pencils. This is a di digital image that I took with a high definition camera and it shows the painting in all its color and I didn't like the Shekinah Glory because it looked too flat so I got a pastel and I am practicing adding more color to it and adding a swirl of motion to it to give it more action and make it look like oh, a really brilliant effect here of God's glory moving in space and moving in the celestial elements here. And so that is a way of simulating what one wants to present on one's painting. And uh, as you can see, I did it down below with a little bit more color, using different colors of pastel to give it even a better look. 
and I added a mountain here. And uh, the next thing I did was add some color and some depth to the cross. These are the encamped Israelites. Now I'm going to show you how I also change the look of this star. It's not perfectly round, it's not shaded. So I'm going to go down below here and show you I used a color pencil to shadow that in. And also used a color pencil to do the shadowing on the cross. And I'm going to add both of this to the painting now that it's, I think I like the way it added some glazing look, the glare of the star of Bethlehem shining on the clock and down to the angel here, kind of drawing all of this together and creating motion this way too. I'm going to add that to the painting. And uh, here you can see I haven't actually added that mountain yet to the painting, which I showed you I had drawn up here. But I will add all of these different elements to the painting to make it look like it has more movement and depth and shadow. Thank you.